Uh, another matter I want to just quickly touch on is under influence. Okay. Uh, that's another area that we tend to get quite a lot. Yeah. Can you define it? What exactly is under influence? Well, it's difficult to define. There is no definition as such of undue influence, but it really is a situation where somebody who's usually younger, not necessarily, but usually, will be putting pressure on somebody, um, typically an elderly person, to do something that they otherwise wouldn't have done. So this can be over a period of time, you know, it can be various things. Maybe it's somebody who's caring for somebody, we see that quite a lot, Um, and the person feels that they maybe need to do what they're being asked to do, otherwise the care may be withdrawn or the support might be withdrawn. So it's, it's a situation where you will have some kind of influence over the person that you're exerting this undue influence over, but you're taking advantage of that situation and you're, in a way, it's almost akin to bullying, isn't it? You're you're putting that influence on them, you're exerting the pressure to make them do something that you want them to do, which they wouldn't necessarily otherwise yeah. be likely to do. And typically we see that in the case of elderly parents with children who want a bigger share of the will or something like that, or classically carers who are looking after people when they're elderly and, and perhaps infirmed and they want to be left in the will. Yeah. Um, and that's quite a common scenario as well. Yeah, and it's not enough to show that this person in particular had power over them, it's that they exercised that power and they exerted that power over that's them. That's it, that they're basically making them do something that they didn't want to do and wouldn't have done otherwise than for that influence. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have to prove the undue influence. It's not enough to suspect that there's been undue influence or to allege that there's been undue influence. You actually have to prove it, which as you can imagine, can be very difficult. Um, Perhaps I could give you an an example of a case that we've had in here which would highlight the kind of thing that's involved. We had um, a case where a client came to us and the mother had changed her will and it was suspected that the brother who lived with the mother had uh, exerted undue influence over her. And actually when we obtained the file of papers from the solicitors who drafted the will, there were notes on the file of papers from those solicitors who'd actually said that they had suspicions that there was undue influence that the brother was uh, putting pressure on her to change the will in his favour. He actually lived with her at the time. And there were various things. He was present in the house when she was making the new will with the solicitors and they actually served a notice on her, putting her on notice of this. Yeah. Um, so obviously when we got that file, that yeah. was that was great for us and, and the claim that we were making. Yeah. So it's not enough to simply say they may have persuaded them to leave me out or manipulated. I think my sister's put pressure on my mother to yeah, make this. Well, yeah, that's not enough, unfortunately. There would have to be some yeah. kind of evidence, yeah.